Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about clips and archiving. Basically, where do your recordings go in Blue Iris and how to adjust that. Like other system settings, it's up here at the gear icon is where you want to go. And then you're going to want to click on clips and archiving. So at the top, you're going to see database. The database should remain on your fastest storage in your computer. So if you have an NVMe drive or an SSD, keep the database on that. The database keeps a reference of the files and folders that Blue Iris is working with. It's an important piece of the equation here for accessing your video. I usually leave the compact repair database as is. What that does is if Blue Iris notices there's an issue, a deleted clip, something along those lines, it will fix all that at 2 a.m. every night. It's usually a very quick process, but do note that recording will be paused briefly while it does that. If 2 a.m. is not a time you want that to happen, you can choose another time. So let's move down to the bottom half. By default, Blue Iris records to the new folder, and then after 10 gigabytes or seven days, whichever comes first, it moves the files to the stored folder. And then after a total of 14 days or 20 gigabytes, it deletes the files. One thing to note is this number, this 14 days, is from the time the clip was originally written to the new folder, not to the day that it was moved to the stored folder. So if you wanted to keep clips for 21 days and not just two weeks from the time they were written, you would want to change this to 21. Since this is a new system in my lab, you can see that files are being written to the C drive. Now the C drive is a fast storage, it's an NVMe drive in my computer, it's the same drive that my operating system is on. I actually don't want clips to be written to that drive. I want them to be written to my Western Digital Purple surveillance drive. I highly recommend you use a surveillance rated drive. The type of writes that surveillance does is different than a regular hard drive and different than a NAS hard drive or some other drives that are out there. You really want to use a surveillance hard drive when you're writing video from cameras to the drive. So what we are going to do is click on these little three dots and change to my Western Digital Purple drive. So let's click on there, we're gonna scroll down, and there's my Blue Iris cameras. I've already named the drive when I installed it. So if I drop down, I've already created two folders here, new and stored. However, if I didn't, I would click on the drive and click make new folder. That would put a new folder there. So let's do test folder. And now I can select that folder as where I want the new files to be. But I'm actually going to click Blue Iris Footage dash new, click OK, and now the path is the D drive where I want Blue Iris to be writing the footage to. But after seven days or 10 gigabytes, it's going to move to the stored folder. If we go over to the stored folder, it's still set up to write to the C drive. So it's actually going to write to the D drive, my surveillance drive, and then move it back to the C drive. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do, click the three dots again, Scroll down, go to my D drive, and we're gonna select this folder, footage stored, and click OK. So now Blue Iris will write to this folder and then move to this folder. In this scenario, all the footage is still on the same drive, but that doesn't have to be the case. So for example, your stored folder could be on an additional drive. So in that scenario, you would be writing to your surveillance drive first. The clips would last seven days or 10 gigabytes. Then they would get moved to another hard drive. Maybe it's in that computer. So that's great. I can write to the new folder, move to another drive in the stored folder. But let's say I wanted to then have an additional step and keep clips for even longer. I wanted to move them to a NAS or network attached storage. Well, then I would set up, I would go to aux one. We're going to skip alerts for now. And I would slowly double click. If you double click fast, you're not going to be able to do this. Or if you right click, you're not going to be able to do this. But if you slowly double click, you can change the name. So what we're going to change this to is NAS. After we've changed the name, we need to put a path of where it's going to write to. So I'm going to just go back to the same drive. But if you had a NAS on the network, you would open up the network tab and you could choose a folder on your NAS. But in this case, let's actually use this test folder. We'll rename it to NAS. 
select it, click OK. Now we'll want to go back up to the stored folder, and instead of deleting, we're going to say move to folder, and now you'll see NAS appear. If you don't put a path in one of these, you will not see it in the drop down. See, we only see new and NAS because they have a path to write. So we'll select NAS. So now footage will get written to the new folder. It'll get moved to the stored folder. And after 14 days or 20 gigabytes, it'll get moved to the NAS folder. And let's say we want to keep the files for 90 days on the NAS folder. Let's say we have six terabytes of available storage on the NAS. Just to recap one more time, footage is written to the new folder, then it's moved to the stored folder, it stays in the stored folder for 14 days, then it's moved to the NAS folder. After 90 days, it's deleted out of the NAS folder, or six terabytes, whichever comes first. You'll see this recycle option. I wouldn't recommend using that. I would recommend using the delete option versus recycle. Basically puts the files in the recycle bin, but there's really no need to do that. And you see here it says will impact system performance. It's just not worth it. So I would use the delete over the recycle. Let's talk about two more options you have. Queue for convert slash export or queue for backup. So if we were gonna queue for convert or export, we would configure that here. By default, Blue Iris records to what's called BVR and not an MP4. So that's where you might want to use this option. Personally, I think the other option, Q for backup, is more interesting. So if that's selected and we click configure clip backup, you can use what's called FTP or file transfer protocol to backup files to an FTP server. Now that FTP server could be locally on your network or it could be out on the internet. So think of a cloud FTP server or an FTP server at another one of your sites. Now you do have to have an FTP server set up in the FTP servers tab in order for this to work. But if you do, when you check this off, you can select the server that you've created, select the folder, and it will then send the clips to that FTP using file transfer protocol when it moves those video files to the next folder. If I scroll down, you can see it goes all the way up to aux 13. So in theory, you could keep moving the files to new drives as they age. That said, for a lot of home and business users, they have a single surveillance drive built into the PC and the new and stored folders are on the same hard drive and they're keeping clips, they're choosing how long they want to keep their clips for. If you do want to add redundancy, that's where you would get into moving to another folder, offsite backup, a network attached storage, etc. Keep in mind that if you want to adjust the recording of a particular camera, you do that in the camera settings. So if I click cancel, I right click on a particular camera, go to camera settings, and then go to record. This particular camera is not set up to record at all. So despite me making all those changes, it's not gonna record. I actually have to check off the video box and then I make a decision of, do I want this camera to record when it's triggered or do I want it to record continuously or there's other options here. One other thing to keep in mind is you could have a drive plugged into your computer, an SSD drive, an external drive and have clips written or backed up to that as well. There's a lot of possibilities of what you could do here, depending on your use case. I do have an affiliate link below to purchase Blue Iris if you haven't yet. And I also have an affiliate link to the Western Digital Purple Drive, which I recommend as the surveillance drive you use in your computer. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And also if you like Blue Iris content or other surveillance type content, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. We will see you in the next one. Take care.